Christ for the work that He did on the cross. You cry out to Him and He answers. And He takes that heart of stone out of you, that center of thought, that center of wickedness, and He replaces it with a heart of flesh. Are you Brian? No. no. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Um, What's your name? My name is Officer Newton. Newton? Matthew? Yeah. Right on. I've seen you before. Yeah, we talked to you. Yes. So. It wasn't so well that last time. But What's that? It, wasn't, it didn't go so well the last time, but I apologize for that. Okay. I don't I mean, I don't, I don't come out here to make enemies. Usually the ones that I remember are the ones that weren't so good, and I don't recall it. Okay, so well, that's that good. good. That's good. So just getting a noise complaint about the volume. Right on. And so um, if you can turn it down. Okay. That will be good because okay. right now it's kind of at an unreasonable level. Okay. And so that will avoid any kind of citation. Right yeah. And so I'd be honest with you, don't really want to have to do that. I don't, I don't want you to do paperwork okay. either. Uh, well, I don't want you to have to have to go through the process either, too. Yeah. I mean, if we can resolve it some other way, that's right my, my goal. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm already working through that process. So. What's that? I'm already working through that process. You have a previous yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. So if that can happen, we're yeah. going to be okay. Absolutely. Um, and we're kind of, like I said, when I get a complaint, i got to respond. I've got to go out and kind of see what I can do to fix it. I understand. It. Um, so what I'm hearing is is they can hear it inside the building from outside. Okay. Which would probably fit the definition of unreasonable. So. Okay. Well, that's so that's kind of where we're That's at. certainly my goal. I understand <laughs> that. But, but what I want to do is make sure we're all lawful, too. No, so I, I, I agree. You have a First Amendment right. That's correct. But you got to be within the law to do that. Right. So and I, and I, I want to I want to do that. I don't want to be hard to, to get along with. Okay. Um, but we, we certainly have a message. And we, we hold you guys in high regard as far as what you do and putting yourselves in the line of a fire. Um, sure. Yeah, and, but we also you know, would like to exhort you at the same time that we know what goes on at these places and we just love for you to stand up and defend the human life that we know for a fact is being lost in there. Well, and so. at this point, I can't express personal views while I'm in uniform. And if you want to have things change, I always tell people, write your state legislator. I mean, oh, see if we you do. can change but things. We, we, I think we all know how wicked Oregon is well, with that. <laughs> so. uh, I thought I'd never see the day that marijuana was legal. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? They got it. Yeah, that's say a, it's impossible. That, yeah, marijuana is essential, true. but... Uh, but opening churches is not, you know. Well, well maybe, but I mean, however your personal opinions view, but as far as people say that, that it falls on deaf ears, I can say, well, there's an example that it didn't. Yeah, I, so like I said, if if the volume can come down so that it's not unreasonable, yeah. I'm not going to have a problem. Yeah, I'll turn the volume down. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, it's got to be to a... Well, I don't... I mean, unreasonable is, I mean, it's all subjective. There's no, and that's why we're in court right now is like we're, I, we're challenging that ordinance um, because we want, that, we want to know, we want, we want unreasonable to find because again, you'll come out here today, but for the last three months, we've had officers come out and they go, well, sounds like you're out here today. We appreciate you guys coming out. Have a great day and, and God bless you, you know? And so every situation, every officer is going to see unreasonable at a different level. I'm not so, going to have court with you in the street. No, no, I don't, I don't want to. I, I don't I, want to. I understand where you're coming from and that you right. you have a different view of it. And our lawmakers sometimes say the word unreasonable so that the guy or gal in the black robe can figure that out. Right. Because that's ultimate decision. When we all go to court, it's because we couldn't figure it out together. Amen. And we're going to lean on someone that's been appointed as a judge Amen. to do that. Amen. So, um, like I said, in my opinion... And this is my supervisor and his opinion as well. If you can hear it inside the building, we're going to go ahead and say probably unreasonable. Okay. You know, if, you know, if you turn it down, like I said, okay. I'm going to go about yeah. my merry way. Yeah, I, I told you I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm not, again, I'm not here to fight you. Okay. So. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank hey, you no, very much. No problem. Okay. And uh, yeah. you guys be safe out there. Okay. And uh, we're, we're praying for you. We, we want you guys to, to be safe. We understand the environment that you guys work in. Um, and uh, when everybody else has turned their backs on you, it's going to be the, the men that, and women that, that love the Lord that are going to be standing there right behind you before anybody else. And so we, we just want you to know that, that we do pray for you. We want you to understand, but, but we also have to look, and, and I know you guys know this, you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, not a city ordinance, and not to stop people from being offended. Um, but the Constitution gives us the right, as you know, to, to free speech, and, the, and that comes with the right to be heard. Um, Gathright um, v. Portland uh, spells that out. Save v. New York spells that out. 
Um, I don't know if I, I don't, you I've seen before. I don't think I've seen you guys before, but Again. I usually pass out um, the street preacher's rights. If you guys want those, I can give you a copy of those um, so that you know what, what they actually are. So you're not just going back and having somebody tell you, you actually physically can read it and know for yourself. Um, I usually pass those out, like I said, um, so that everybody's on the same page, and, and I'm willing to fight those fights. And again, we're, we're with you. We, we want you guys to succeed. We want you to go home to your family safe. Um, and when everybody else has forsaken you and said defund and do this and do that, it's going to be the Christians that are going, oh, man, these guys are created in the image of God, and as such, they have value. And how dare you um, try to destroy them um, because they put on a blue uniform. So. We praise God for you guys. We appreciate that. And like I said, I I think, and maybe you can tell me your opinion. Am I being unreasonable with my request today? I, again, um, unreasonable, you'd have to define. Personally, I appreciate the fact that you came up here to have a conversation because um, we don't get that all the time. Okay. Um, but to come up here to have that conversation is a, is a true blessing. And we have seen the grace of God poured out here in Springfield from a time, again, the last time that we met, it wasn't so great. Um, you wouldn't even give me your name. So, and, and I remember that, but I, I didn't stop praying for you. I didn't, I didn't hate you because of that. Um, so reasonable as, as you and I have been able to have this conversation, I told you I'm gonna turn it down and I think that's great. But if I turn it down and then you come back and you say, well, that's not, because I'm standing in the building, I don't know what reasonable is, you know? If they call you back and go, well, I, we can still kind of hear it. If and you want a trial level and I can walk in there so we can all avoid that second trip, well, if I can't hear it, then we can Again, but that is, that's my intended audience. And if you can, like, hear it, like something like this, versus hear it where you can hear my voice, it, again, it's all subjective. And so that's a, that's a reasonable argument that I'm, I'm willing to have in the court of law, which is why I'm in a court of law for that now. Okay. Um, because we want to have that conversation. Um, it's not just here, it's in other places as well. And, and that's why we have case law such as Gathright v. Portland, such as Saving New York. Um, there was another case decided right here in uh, um, Eugene, which I can't think, I got it written, I got it on that paperwork if you guys want that, um, where the man was shut down from, from speaking and then the Ninth District Court, I believe, upheld or got rid of that because um, annoyance at the message can be cloaked with sound. It's not because we're out here. If I was out there on the street going, Oregon Ducks rule, nobody would call you, nobody would say anything, but because I'm here proclaiming Christ, so it's annoyance at the message cloaked in annoyance at sound. And so that's what, those are some of the things that, that have already been fought in court and that's why we come out with with amplifiers because that's how we can reach um, the women that are here and we want to be able to reach the women we want to be able to reach the workers that are inside there that's our our audience um, and we want to reach you guys when you come out um, we're, we're not we're not afraid for you guys to show up because we want you to understand your responsibility as a lesser magistrate to uphold the highest law of the land and the highest law of the land is the constitution not a city ordinance not an annoyance from somebody that doesn't like this isn't running a lawnmower at two o'clock in the morning Again. no don't they suck there's mass suck when you have glasses on <laughs> um, like i said if everybody has rights too so they have rights inside to have you know not have it be loud and that's not that's not a constitutional right city ordinance of us right you may be correct it's right I know. But when our forefathers were writing the constitution <clears throat> those weren't invented no but there was you don't think there was mobs and rice you don't think they dumped tea into the harbor you don't think all those things were going on there well, was there was chaos in those days and it may be but at the same time if, if we can turn it down you said you're no, no i will i will absolutely i, I will absolutely do that okay. i will absolutely do that okay what was your first name sir sean sean yeah all right Thank you very much. Right. Lord bless you. Appreciate you. you shake time. hands. Uh, I got to do the elbow thing. All right. So <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, Lord bless you guys. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day, guys. Yep. How are you today?